So today marks a couple days before my new collection and I wanted to make a short video explaining explaining it really because without a video it wouldn't really make sense and it ties really well together and like this year that's one of my goals I want to make merch and I want to make things that have a little story behind it not just text on the sweater and stuff you know what I mean so this month marks a one year anniversary of my first cease and desist and the whole story behind it is really long maybe I make it in another video but long story short I was working somewhere and I I didn't do really anything wrong in my opinion but I was doing like a photo shoot or something and my job my job didn't care but apparently they cared this one time I've done it several times in the past and they didn't care but see so yeah, I was doing a photo shoot there right and I, I shouldn't have though but that's not the point it's not that deep but what happened was I was doing a photo shoot and they didn't like it and basically they were trying to make me snitch on everyone I worked with and I didn't I wasn't snitching so like it wasn't that deep but it marks a one year since I got this in the mail and I'm gonna put it up on the screen too but I'm gonna just show you it's basically like notifying me that um I'm gonna just read it it says you must cease and desist from using any image of your advertising for the way beyond the fame product line. And I always, it always just stuck with me that like, one, you're a lawyer and you should be, you should do your research. It's not way beyond the fame. Like I don't, I don't, when they sent me this, it was kind of funny because it was like, damn, I really feel bad for that brand way for the fame. Like they should definitely know about this and I wish I could inform them, but I couldn't. So. But yeah, it says, you must season the me any images of your advertisement for the way beyond the fame product line or any other commercial or non-commercial use that includes any part of the office environment for blank. And I always just saw that and I was just like, that's so crazy. Like, it wasn't it wasn't that deep for them to send me a cease and desist. I also knew they weren't going to sue me. What were, what were you going to get out of it? You were going to waste hundreds of thousands of dollars in suing what? I'm not Nike. I'm not Apple. I'm not a millionaire. So you weren't going to sue me, so... That was just stupid. It was more like I wasn't, I was worried because I was like, I wasn't worried. I was more annoyed. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have better things to do. Like, really, I'm the, I'm the top thing on your list right now. Like, it was just because they wanted things to go a certain way. Like, they wanted me to rat out everyone that I was working with during these photo shoots, and I didn't. So, I guess they were just like, damn, let's just pick on the little kid real quick. But, it didn't work, obviously. Way, be way beyond the fame is I don't know what's good with them but way before the fame is flourishing so I thought it'd be funny to since it's the one year anniversary I got this letter March 3rd I thought it'd be funny to just let's do a play on it let's release merch that says way beyond the fame I'm happy it happened though honestly like they really try to take me down like I think most people would have definitely like folded under the pressure and maybe I'm just that ignorant and I didn't think it was that serious maybe it was a huge deal maybe I could have got sued I don't think I would have though but um yeah, I'm happy it happened though because it definitely woke me up and made me a lot more ambitious and it made me just want to succeed even more. It was just like, really? Like, and then it was like, it was not even like, a, it wasn't like disrespectful, but it was like, where was the paper? It was like, you must cease and desist from using any image on your advertisement for the way beyond the fame product line. And it was just like, damn, like, I'm that trash. I don't even know the name of my brand. Yeah, I can't even put respect on the name. Like, shit was crazy, man. So, yeah, I'm out now. Thank you for watching this. Um, SneakerCon Cleveland is this weekend. So, there I'll have some 3M pants. Um, most of the collection, if anything's even left, I'm telling you, I'm about to have it for the low. Like the 13th, 14th, I leave the 15th to drive to Cleveland, and I, I'm not expecting to have a lot left. Like, we're talking about high quality stuff, because you already know I don't do, like, cheap shit, for, like, spot. Like, I'm making maybe a dollar. I'll probably lose money with shipping. But, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And for that fat bitch who works there. And blew this whole thing out of proportion when it happened. And the entire legal console that was part of the cease and desist. Suck my dick.